Good morning. I'm uh, playing with this again today. As you can see, I have been a busy boy cutting stuff out. Um, uh, this is pretty much where it needs to live now on my temporary mounts. I had to move them. Um, I'll insert a little picture of what the wheel sits like. So as you can see, it's pretty central now. Um, so my next part to focus on is, it's quite difficult to show you, I'm gonna cap, cap this front bit off to the floor pan, weld it all the way across the top down the sides. That'll be joined by this top piece, which has clearance for the lower arm mount. Obviously the bolt hole will be roughly there somewhere. Um, I'm gonna pop a chunky plate on the floor there. And then I'm gonna have a cap off the end of the chassis rail and have a big plate that goes up. And that'll box that all off. And then as you can see, I've capped off the chassis rails that end, which will let me. Ugh. So I've got some nice 40 mil box, big chunky wall. So basically, from underneath of that chassis rail, it's going to stay high and then a bit angled down. And I want to try and keep it so I can tie it into the side of that box. And that should be the front mounts all buttoned up. Um, so yeah, a few more cardboard templates I'm going to get cut in. The most painstaking part of this is going to be clearing all the paint off to weld. So I won't put you through a time lapse of that because it's boring. And I'll show you when I start doing some welding. Oh my god, that took so long to cut. Artec, if you're watching, please donate me a CNC plasma cutter. Please, I'll be a good boy. Right, so I've buzzed all the paint off. I just capped those ends off quick. Um, and I'm gonna get plating. Um, all the bits are cut out, so. I will show you what it's like. Been a busy boy. They're all fully welded up. So there'll also be a hole in here, either side for the pickup, and I'm gonna then strengthen this flat plate by putting some ribs in it. So yeah, so there's a nice gap. The pickup points. I'm going to seam seal all the edges and stuff in. But yeah, next job is a bit of chassis rail from there, high down, and tie it into the side of that. Okay, so I kind of got in a bit of a rhythm yesterday and just cracked on. I've got so much done. It's pretty much all done apart from the floor pan sheeting. But there you go. Chassis rails. Let me turn the let me turn it over. Here we go, final product. So here's a, this is three mil plate, and there's basically gonna be a bolt hole for the cross member. And to strengthen this up, I'm gonna route a piece of roll cage tubing on it, up, and triangles down, then that plate can't flex. I've got 40 mil box section chassis rails, three mil thick wall, um, and I've done a three mil plate on the floor tied that all in and capped off the chassis rail both sides and then that rejoins the chassis rail capped off at the back here so yeah so 
I'm just going to test fit the axle back in, try and clamp it somehow, I don't want to drill it yet, just to have a look. But you're getting the idea, so basically hopefully there'll be three flat sheets, one in between these two chassis rails, two either side, and um, a friend of mine's lending me his swager, so I'm going to put a load of ribs in it to try and make it look a bit more factory with the floor pan as it is. Oh man, I'm chuffed with that. I'm chuffed with that. Okay, so I just chucked in the rear cross member and some clamps. Cheeky cable tie at the back. Yeah. Loads of clearance over the chassis rails. I think that's good under here. Alright, what is next? So I just chucked on a lower arm. Obviously I need to work out where it needs to sit but I think it's got loads of room. I'm never going to be running it that low. You can see the clearance to the chassis rail. So, working suspension height. Beautiful. So next job for me is the turret. I tried my old gas coilover on and it sits at the wrong angle. And at sort of theoretical ride height, it it's fully compressed. So I'm gonna cut out and raise these turrets up, probably move them in slightly. But I'm gonna go with the two bolt design of the BMW. So it's just complete standard BMW, so I better order up some metal for that. Um, and then I'm gonna, I will need Kyle here to help me put the two lower arms on, find the center line of both arches, get this all squared up, marked, and, and a hole drilled. Um, so then at least I can pop some bolts through. And then I have no idea how you're meant to work out the diff angle. So, I need to do some research on that. But yeah, done for this week. I know the vlogs have been, um, this one especially has just been, just not much. I, I just got in a rhythm and then I couldn't stop. And I'm glad I did because I got so much done. Um, but it's turned out exactly, I had this vision in my head. I can't draw it, but I know what I'm doing and I've just got to crack on and sort of build it as I go along, but I'm really happy with that. Um, I can take my braces back out now, it's got some chassis rails in it. But yeah, this week is done. I'll see you soon.